Roketsan continues to bring the Turkish defense industry together with the latest technology. The Chaka missile family is one of the most recent and striking examples of this. This high-precision multi-platform cruise missile takes Turkey's striking power to the next level. The missile is initially planned to be used on unmanned aerial vehicles and helicopters. However, in time, it will also be integrated into the land, sea and air components of the Turkish armed forces. It will be launched from patrol vehicles and coastal batteries in the land forces and from destroyers, corvettes and assault boats in the naval forces. In the Air Force, Chaka is expected to be used frequently from jet aircraft. Four Chakas each can be launched from platforms such as Akinche and Aksungur unmanned combat aircraft, F-16s, Hurjet and national combat aircraft. ATR-72 and CN-235 maritime patrol aircraft will be able to carry two Kakir, while Seahawk and attack helicopters will be able to carry two Kakir each. In short, almost every branch of our army will benefit from this advanced cruise missile. For example, in the Air Force, Kakirs can be used to attack enemy land targets. From the sea, in the event of a possible embargo, threats to attack ships can be suppressed. A swarm sensor version of the Kakir could support airspace control operations. Of course, the real power of the missile will emerge when all these capabilities are used in an integrated manner within a network-supported warfare concept. Kakir missiles coordinated with each other will be able to play a unifying role in a multi-front operation. Greetings to everyone from Techno Hardware. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our video, and turn on notifications to be notified of similar videos. For example, a swarm of javelins sent for an air operation can first suppress the air defense systems in the area with the support of the enemy's electronic warfare systems. Then, cruise missile variants can fire salvos at ground targets. Anti-ship lighters, on the other hand, can be activated against naval base threats. Thus, a coordinated operation of land, sea and air elements becomes possible. Pressure on the enemy defenses from many more fronts and directions will multiply the chances of success. Ultimately, the enemy forces will be crushed and the operational objectives will be achieved. No weapon system, no matter how impressive its capabilities, can win a war on its own. However, the Chaka missile family brings a very important force multiplier to the Turkish army. Its superior features make it a great advantage on the battlefield. Thanks to its high range and guidance accuracy, Chaka will be able to safely hit even very distant critical targets. Compared to ballistic and other cruise missiles, it is more maneuverable and faster, making it a more difficult target. Considering its low visibility, Chaka is likely to be a nightmare for its rivals. Another major advantage is that it is of Turkish design and production. Therefore, supply chain and logistics problems have largely been overcome. In addition, there will be no shortage of weapons and ammunition due to embargoes during crises. Experts predict that Chaka will maximize Turkey's deterrence capacity. This high-precision and multi-purpose missile family provides the Turkish armed forces with operational and tactical flexibility. Capable of operating in all conditions and overcoming weight and range limitations, Chaka can be used effectively in many regions of the world. Turkey's cruise missiles are now capable of playing a role in a wide range of scenarios, including not only air land or air sea attacks, but also electronic and psychological operations. The Turkish defense industry can take these capabilities even further and focus on supersonic and hypersonic cruise missiles. These advanced technologies, which are much more suitable for today's and future's mobile battlefields, will be built on the accumulated knowledge created by Chaka. On the other hand, the capabilities provided by Chaka will also shape Turkey's role in the regional and global arena. Our army is now capable of protecting not only its own territory, but also the security of friends and allies. For example, it is only a matter of time before Turkey uses Chaka missiles in its operations in northern Iraq. There is the possibility of direct or indirect attack against terrorist elements there. Thanks to its low visibility, Tsakas can also carry out surprise attacks. Moreover, with the Chaka's wide range and navigational capability, the Turkish Armed Forces Intervention Area has become capable of covering critical regions. 
In the event of a crisis, Turkey now has the opportunity to influence regional balances, particularly in the eastern Mediterranean and North Africa. Another important issue is that Chaka has the capacity to carry conventional, nuclear, radiological and even chemical warheads. This creates an extremely critical deterrence tool for Turkey. Turkey gains the ability to respond effectively against weapons of mass destruction. Finally today, Chaka adds a major force multiplier not only to Turkey's air force but also to NATO as a whole. Due to its qualities, Chaka will significantly increase the offensive and defensive capability of the alliance. In particular, swarm attacks and electronic warfare capabilities are likely to offer great advantages on the battlefield. Despite all these dazzling developments, the Chaka missile family should be regarded as not only a beginning, but also the beginning of the road. It will become a source of inspiration for many projects that will carry the Turkish defense industry even further. Undoubtedly, it is inevitable that more advanced swarm and cruise missile systems will emerge in the coming years. For today, however, Chaka itself stands out as a commendable technological move, a breakthrough that will make Turkey a more effective and deterrent power from the Black Sea to the Indian Ocean. We express our gratitude to the Turkish engineers, workers and scientists who are the architects of this success.